Uh, so hello, today I'm going to show you how you can use my auto posting software to make posts on Craigslist. So basically Craigslist is a classified ad site where you can just go there and check some ads that other people post. Uh, posting manually it takes like forever so I'm going to show you a cool uh, software that I created that is going to help you to make your life easier when you want to post on Craigslist. So here is the software. Basically, you have different profiles with different accounts. So if I choose profile two, it's going to show me the information for the profile two. If I show profile one, it's going to show me the information for the profile one. So here I can post with three accounts, one, two, and three. And I can decide how many I want to use. If I want to use one, then I just leave it as it is. If I want to use two, I click this one. If I want to click uh, if I want to use the three of them, I use this one. So this Craigslist auto posting software basically is going to make a post at nine, at ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three, four, and five. I can change the time now. For example, right now it's four, so it's nine forty-four. So I can change this to nine forty-nine. So it's going to start posting at nine forty-nine. So my accounts are saved on these profiles that I can change. Uh, I can change uh, whenever I want to. So let's say I can post on Mondays with profile number one, on Tuesdays with profile number three. The idea is to keep your accounts alive and you don't post too many times with the same account, so your accounts don't get banned. And also, it's going to be posting for you randomly. For, for from a series of ads that you create previously. So if I go here, I can have ads there. I have right now 61 ads. So basically what my software is going to do is going to check what time it is. Now it's 945. If that is the if this if this time matches with the time that I have on one of these boxes then it's going to go and it's going to log in with the specific account that is created. So in this case, it will log with this account. And then basically it will go and pick a random post from here. So this is going to give me the ad. And basically that is what it's going to post at that moment. So my software supports spin syntaxes. So for uh, whoever doesn't know what is that, I'm going to just show you. So if I click me Mega Spinner, I can just create an ad here called Hello, this is awesome. And I can just create another one, uh, watch this ad. And I can create another one like, this is the best product. And basically, I just click generate, copy, and this is my title. So every time it's created a title, it's going to pick up one of the different titles there. So you don't always have the same title. If I click spin syntaxes, you can see it give me a different ad. It's the same thing for the for the um, for the content. Let's say I just I just put hello, hi. I put greetings. I just put generate, I click copy that, and I paste it here on my body. If I click a spin syntaxes, then that gives me different ads. This uh, option, it's very useful so your ad doesn't get very repetitive and your ad is always different. Now, I have a bunch of locations. If your location is not here, I can add it very easily. Let's say I'm going to post on, on, on Toronto. Then it's going to give me the sublocations from Toronto. If that had neighborhood for when you're posting an ad on the on the housing, then it will show up here. For example, if I choose S Bay, let me just choose S Bay. So here it show me the San Francisco, and it show me different sublocations there on the neighborhoods. So as you can see, it show you that. Also, you put your postal code there. If you are selling something, you type how much you're going to be selling for. If you're in the mobile section and you want to sell something, 
it will show you here but it, you need to choose the sublocation first so if I choose here on uh, self by owner and I say and I choose that one here it will show me the information that I need if I am selling a, or renting a house it will show me if, I, if it has private room or if it has a private bath and depending on the information that you require it's going to appear here now to upload pictures is very easy. You just choose your picture, you click browse, then you go to a folder where you have pictures, and you just choose your picture. Let's say I choose this one, and I click open, and I click upload. So that is going that uploads my my picture, and I can just save the app, and the app is going to be saved here. So once I have a bunch of ads, let's say 61 or I can have 100, I, that's very easy because right now I just will have to come back to this. I'm going to pick up the time here on 50 and I will, I will click start posting and it's going to start posting on my three accounts on the different time that I have there. Now I can just use proxies. If I have proxies, I just type the proxies there. And the program is going to change it by by, by itself automatically, uh, and I can click the cookies the cookies before it log in. So this gives you the option. So click uh, if you have account from uh, New York, you can use a proxy from New York, and basically it's going to allow you posting without your ads getting flagged because you are on another location. Since I don't uh, this works, but since I always post on my own city, I don't need this. If you post on different cities, you probably want to add that so your ad doesn't get banned. And also, it cleans the cookie before you log in. So just to uh, before posting, I will just clear the cookies now so you can see what it does. It goes and deletes your history, deletes your cookies. So correctly, it uh, cannot track you and doesn't delete your account. So now I'm going to start posting uh, one ad, but it's, I'm going to change the times here to make it uh, faster for you. So I'm going to put 52 and I'm going to put 09. I'm going to keep a 10 minutes difference and then I'm going to put here uh, 10 with 02. Then I'm going to put here um, 10 with, uh, with 12. And I can change the hour here, but uh, we are not going to wait until that. So I'm just going to show you uh, how it posts automatically, so you can see how it works. And basically, you will be uh, impressed on how the software does uh, everything for you. So I'm just going to click Start Posting now. Uh, and basically, you will see that the text changed to running. So I just had to wait 30 seconds until the program start posting. So here on posting the status, I will be able to check what the software is doing. It has a login timer, so it's going to check uh, when it's going to log in. And I'm going to clean the cookies, the cookies even though I did it before, so you can see how it will actually do it before logging in. Also, you have a posting timer, and after your ads has been published, it's going to renew two ads every time it, it it make a post. So if you have nine posts, it's going to renew them. So now here is posting the title laptop repair desktop services and it's going to post this image on my ad. I also put a navigator here so you can log in and navigate to different sites directly from the software. So now it's going to check what is my public IP. So this is my IP. If I were to have a different proxy, then you will see the the proxy IP. That is for you to check that it's changing the proxy. So here, as you can see, it's visiting the login page, which is this page. It's uh, it's going to, it's placing the username and password, the email and password. It's doing everything itself. I'm not touching anything. And here, as you can see, I have multiple ads that I put previously there. So basically, whenever this finish posting, if I have ads to renew, it's going to renew those ads. So now it's going to choose this uh, section, uh, and basically it's going to choose the 
uh, the it's going to choose the service offer and then it's going to choose computer services and basically it's going to start making the post there so it's going to fill out everything for me with the information that it had previously and it's going to add my title it's going to add my location the cost of po the postal code and it's going to place the the ad inside the the text area and then it's going to click uh, next or continue so after that you can you can uh, put your images so as you can see this is going to be pre-filled uh, by the program automatically i really don't have to do anything and i just have to wait until the I just have to leave my computer on and let it work during the day. So if you are busy doing something else, you can be sure that the software is going to be posting for you. This is going to save you a lot of time and it's going to make your uh, your ad campaign uh, to run much faster. And basically it's going to improve uh, your business source or your client. Because if you have many ads, uh, you have more clients. The more ads you have, uh, the more clients you have. Also, this software is not uh, for you to spam uh, Craigslist. It's just for you to reduce the time it takes you to make posts on Craigslist. Uh, the difference is that you're doing it uh, with serious uh, marketing campaigns, not like just uh, blasting a campaign of ads that are useless or whatever so if you are interested in the software you will be able to uh, get it uh, through the link on the description of this video and basically just go there and you can you can get it there so now it's going to be posting my picture it's going to uh, type the the, the the file name there and it's going to Place my picture there, so I have the picture there, and after that, it's going to click down with images. So uh, basically, the software is very easy to use; it's very user, uh, user friendly. And if something is not uh, the way you want it, if you want to add additional features or additional functionalities, you can always let me know, and I can add them for you. Um, the software is awesome, it really works and it works on autopilot. So as you can see here my ad is ready there. It has all the information or or my on my post and it's going to click uh, publish and basically my ad is going to be published and I need a, a phone verified account for this so I don't receive emails and I don't have to go on to my email and to activate it. Uh, but if you have phone verified account, that means that your ad will get published and you don't have to do anything else. So I just received a message on my phone that it has been activated. If your if your account is not phone activated, you can receive the emails on your phone and you can activate it through the phone. That will take you seconds instead of you posting the ad. You can just do it through your phone after that has been published through the software. So now that it's finished publishing, it's going to go to my renewing timer. Here you can see renewing ad timer, it's running. Basically, it's going to renew my ads and it's going to do it automatically. So that ad has been renewed. So I have my ad there renew and it's going to go back and it's going to renew another ad. So I, I just, I just see how the software does everything for you. So here it renew my ad as well. If I go back here, I can just see what is the next uh, post day. It's going to be at 10.02. Uh, and I'm going to uh, let uh, let you wait until that time. But just uh, make be sure that this ad is going to be posted as well at 10.02. Then it's going to be posted at 10.12. And if I type this one, if I check mark this used to account, then at 12, at 1 and 2. As you can see, it's nine ads plus the renew ad that make it uh, to be uh, nine times three. That would be kind of 27 ads in one day that you can have running every single day. And it's, it's not a lot, but it's, uh, it's more than, uh, than zero 
or that you have to do it yourself because the program did it by, by, by itself. So if you have proxies and you have two computers, you can have 27 times two, you can have, uh, I don't know, like uh, 40 something, 50 something, and that is just uh, as easy as doing this. So if you want to get the software, just go to the link in the description below. Uh, that you will see more information about the software and then you can you can get it from there Thank you for watching and I hope you have a really nice day uh, Well, just one last thing here you can have a log so it's going to tell you at what time your, the ad was paused and the title of the ad so you can check uh, at what time the ad can be posted So thank you and bye bye have a nice day